I, there's Ixion. Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were somewhere over here. However, at this moment, we are instead over here at the town of Men. And there is a reason that I am over here. Right before the stream, I decided that I should go ahead and look at the game's data to find out what is up with that treasure chest up there that we can't get to. And I wound up getting some interesting information. That information is, number one, you absolutely cannot in any way reach that treasure chest. And more importantly, the, the treasure chest doesn't even do anything. It's unscripted. It's nothing but scenery. So, that's interesting. Anyway... Hold on a sec, that was the wrong place. We want to go to... Party Switch B. Anyway... When we last left off, we were still looking for the Zone Blade. And unfortunately, people keep telling us what direction we should go without actually telling us um, what our actual destination is or how to get there, that sort of thing. And our journey has eventually led us to Battle Shop, where we were tasked to deal with a monster over here in Treasure Way so that we can get into the Hall of Fame over in Battle Shop. Now, what does this have to do with finding the Zone Blade? Uh -huh. Well, before we get on with that task, though, I want to do a little bit of changing of equipment real quick. I'm going to get rid of the speedy ring on Zar, give him the power ring instead. And I'm going to give the speedy ring to Chris instead, because he could use a little bit of agility, hopefully. Um... He's still going to be kind of slow comparatively to everybody else. I'll have to buy him another speedy ring instead, or as well. Another speedy ring as well. Because he has this um, instant death attack, and I'd like to have him get a chance to use that first in battle without everybody else wasting their turns fighting enemies that will probably just get instantly killed anyway. For now, though, he just gets one speedy ring. Now then. Into Treasure Way we go. I was not expecting a forest. Go between the trees to the left to exit. Really? So in other words, I could just do this if I wanted to because you didn't really decide to stop me from doing that if I wanted to. Alright, whatever. So this is like an open dungeon then, I guess. That might be a little bit tricksy to navigate. Snow lions? Oh, I get it, because they're ant lions, except they're snow lions. Wow, we're encountering a lot of enemies that are poisonous lately. And they also hit hard. Well... One of them t uh, got instantly killed anyway, but as I expected, it was one of them that somebody wasted their turn at trying to attack. So you know what? Flame. Just flame them all. Get ourselves a flame war going. Do flame wars still happen? I need to pay a little bit more attention to Jesse's health. No surprise, they're totally weak against fire. And Naomi learned a new spell. Alright, let's... Uh, who do we need to do the healing? You don't even have healing. You don't have healing either. It's Jesse. Jesse will do the healing. More cost-efficient to use that one. I'm pretty sure I bought a bunch of antidotes. Yep, no problem there. What are my tech attacks again? Might want to consider using those. 25 HP for 40 damage against all enemies? No, not here. Here, we just use fire. 
All right, what else we got here? Conklaw and Everblue. Well, in this situation, actually, fire wouldn't be that useful because it only targets enemy groups. In other words, like this. Ah, oh, well, he's starting with the instant death anyway. Y'all, oh, if, if you guys are going to go first anyway, focus on that snow lion. See if we can avoid some of that poison. And charge attacks. Kind of hurts. Well, of course we can't because most of the enemies in the game are faster than you. You know, I don't, I don't think that uh, instant death spell is working too well anymore. It was working in that fire dungeon. Oh well. Hey, use some of your health. Get some damage going against these guys. And uh, you have the same thing, so you do the same thing. Hello there, oh no, eh. Oh no, I'm a racist. Hmm. Well, using the, um, those all attacks certainly wasn't helpful. Okay, new plan. Everybody just attack, and Jesse's gonna heal us, because we need healing. Um, maybe more than 30. These guys are probably almost dead at this point. took a little bit more effort than I thought it would. I, uh, next time I encounter those guys, I'm gonna kind of, um... There we go. I was looking for a certain option here. Anyway, um... What was I saying? I need to better plan what I'm gonna do against these guys. So Ixion says the boss is down and to the left. However, there's a treasure chest up here. I got whack two staff. Cool. Um here. You can whack two. So apparently it's worth kind of exploring this open area because uh What was I saying? Got distracted. It's not a good idea to be distracted. So it's worth, oh yeah, it's worth exploring this open area because we've got all these, um, there's treasures. There's gonna be treasures. However, I'm not entirely fond of the fact that there is, in fact, an open area to explore here because, well, random encounters for one thing. No sense of direction. Open areas tend to be better if there's like well if you knew where you were going and quite frankly I do not ah that was a much better battle magic okay um Let's just go this way anyway. Oh! I decided to go this way on time, except it's only 23 gold. How am I going to find all these treasures? Seriously. I, I probably actually just won't. Because it might not actually be worth looking around for all these treasures. I mean, we did get that new weapon, but... Uh, I don't know. It, it would take a little bit of time and... 
you know what, actually, there is a way we can go ahead and just search around for all the treasures. It would take a lot of magic, but we have a spell in which we can reduce and, in fact, remove the random encounters. So, I might just go ahead and do that. We'll explore like that. That sounds like a good idea. I got plenty of magic potions, and these guys give enough money that I'll be able to just buy more magic potions. Alright, plan established. And it is a good plan. You have encountered down, you have encountered down. Do you have anything else we would use? Well, you also have a flame spell. I need to keep that in mind. You have more MP. We'll just toss a few encounter downs and uh, start looking around. We'll do this kind of methodically. Okay, so here's the edge of the map. Let's go all the way to the top edge. Alright, here's the top edge of the map. So we need to kind of zigzag our way through this place and hopefully, eventually, make our way towards more treasure. So the entrance is basically near the top half. Boy, uh, three encounter uh, down spells and already these guys are back at it. Alright, well, we'll take care of this real quick. Already threw in this fire spell, so that'll get them mostly dealt with. Maybe I should just spam all the encounter downs. It stacks! It only disappears after so many steps and when you transition to another map. And this place does not seem like a place where we'll be transitioning to another map. By the way, I find it ironic that this place is called Treasure Way because this seems like a place where you would lose your way. Here, use all the encounter downs. And then a couple magic potions, just in case it runs out before we're done here. Alright, so... Let's go about this far down. And like I said, we'll just kind of zigzag along here. There was that treasure. Uh, you used the entire 64 by 64 map, didn't you? Okay, starting from here, so go down to this point. Okay, that's another row down. Well, it shouldn't be taking too long to find or explore this whole map thanks to those encounter downs ah so nice to be able to explore without having to worry about encounters okay and then oh ran out we'll deal with this fight real quick and then uh throw in some more Should not have uh, had those three all attacking the same enemies. That's going to be a waste. Total waste. Whoops. Almost a total waste. You know what? Never mind. I don't feel so bad about it anymore. So then, how about that Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday? Oh, of course, Naomi learns a new spell. Oh yeah, there was somebody else who learned a new spell, and I completely forgot to look at it. Um, we'll look at Naomi's first off. Escape Dungeon. And somebody else learned something. No, I don't think it was Zar. Although he does need to use some encounter downs. It was Jesse. What did Jesse learn? Holy stars, perhaps? I don't know that she had that already. Ah, eh, whatever. Using a couple more magic potions. 
as well as a chili dog. Anyway, Nintendo Direct. It happened yesterday. It was kind of interesting. Where was I starting? Uh, we'll just go down this far. I'm a little disappointed that this Direct, which was going to be like a big feature of Mario Tennis Aces, did not actually talk about a whole lot with Mario Tennis Aces. I'm, I'm kind of interested in knowing more about the single player mode, the story mode, but they barely even mentioned it. Hey, treasure! 100 gold. Not really worth it. I'm, I'm going to spend more than that on a single magic recovery. Also, cannot forget, Super Smash Brothers for Switch was announced. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a new one, because they were like super teasing about it, and they wouldn't be teasing if it was just going to be a port of the Wii U Smash. Chris's HP is low, you say. No, I recovered it. So, Chris's HP is not low, Ix. His MP, though. His MP is low. Now it's not. Oh, time to spam some more... stuff. In fact, we're gonna do a couple things here. Since we got two groups of enemies. We'll be using flame against both groups. I think it's interesting, by the way, that Undertale is apparently going to Nintendo Switch. I did that Let's Play streaming of it a couple years ago, and, um, no, I probably won't buy the Switch version. I already did that Let's Play of it, and I don't think I need to Let's Play it again. Super Dog? Cool. Right, right, right. What else did the Direct have? It had... Ooh! Save point! Oh, and there's the boss. Yeah, the Direct had a save point. Had a 3DS games, of course, and... There's the usual question of why isn't it going to switch? We'll ignore you a little bit here, Mr. Bossman, because... I want to make sure there's no more treasures. But at least now, know where you are. Kind of interesting that Luigi's Mansion is going to... Oh, it was worth going out here. Is going to the 3DS. You would think that would be like a Switch port. A Switch remake, a Switch enhancement, remaster, whatever you would want to call it. But no, the GameCube Luigi's Mansion... Just straight up putting it onto the uh, 3DS. I wonder what that means in regards to GameCube games going to the Nintendo Switch. Saving again. How prepared am I for this fight? Do I want to do a little bit of healing? Probably want to do a little bit of healing. So... There. Alright, boss time. Welcome to my lair, impudent ones. This is not a lair. We're in the middle of a forest. We know you're the thing that's been haunting this place. Haunt? You must be dead to haunt, but I'm very much alive. Which you will find out. Oh, it's a Hydra. Neat. Oh, Hydora. 
My mistake. So let's start off with regular attacks here just to see what those do against it. Along with some uh, defense crush. No, attack crush. Attack crush and... You know, the power surge strategy was so useful the last time. I'm gonna go ahead and use it some more. Ooh, that, that is an attack. Oh, 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 oh. Jesse, you are totally going to be on healing duty. Yep, you are. Good first effort, though. Oh, boy. Um... Yeah, we'll start with the bigger heal. Wait, you're you're not Jesse. Je Chris, attack. Jesse is gonna start with the bigger heal. In fact, mm, no, it's a bigger heal. We don't have an all 170, so all 60 will do. Lower that attack some more. My gosh, that that was painful. No. Oh that happened. You know, maybe Chris should have been the one to heal. What do you guys think? Maybe he should have been the one to heal. It's entirely possible that Chris should have been the one to heal. Yeah, this fight is definitely going to prevent me from uh, really thinking much about the Nintendo Direct because I kind of need to focus on not dying. It's, it's kind of important. little bit of rebirth. You know, there is one advantage to the enemies going first in battle, and that's the fact that they will not immediately kill the person that I revive. Definitely a good thing. Oh boy, um... You can do the group heal again, Chris. Uh, Jesse. No, no, no. Nah. Chris can go ahead and attack. I think Jesse will go after Zar. So Zar can go ahead and rebirth Naomi. Still need to lower that attack. Okay, we're back in a position. Hopefully it's a good position. You, you keep group healing. Lower that attack a little bit more because his physical attack still hurts. And of course he has that attack, which, ugh, painful. I hope that he does not use that attack twice in a row. That would suck. I will say this, I'm definitely enjoying this boss. This is fun. You keep keeping on. We don't need to do attack crush anymore. Uh... Oh, you know what? Hmm. Let's let's try it. We'll try this. It's probably a little too late to be thinking about using a reflex spell, but Hello there, Beer Force. Okay, so the Reflect spell apparently does not reflect healing magic, so that's good news. Here, here's the next plan. You... Cover some MP. She's gonna keep healing just in case. We'll get off another Reflect spell. This time, on Chris. 
no, no, hold off on Chris for a moment. Do it on yourself. And of course, he used that spell twice in a row. Good thing we were fully healed at this point. Ah, love that reflect though. That is gonna be nice. So yeah, I'm definitely surprised that uh, reflect doesn't block healing magic. I thought for certain that it did. He, he's probably almost dead at this point. Throw in another group heal because we healed all that MP. I like how you apparently summon Reflect. Ooh, still got plenty of health apparently. At this point, everybody just go ahead and attack because he's probably... Oh, not you. We got room for one more Reflect. Come on, use some more magic. Aww. This guy's definitely got plenty of health. Oh, never mind. Good job, Jesse. I wish I had thought about that reflect strategy earlier. Oh, that is nice gold. I love boss rewards. Fun fight! Saving. Um, healing poison, then saving. And at this point, having successfully defeated the boss of this place, I think it is time for our first episode break of the stream. So, I would like to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including Ixion. And of course, I'm going to give a shout out to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. When we come back, we will be making our way back towards Bottle sh Battle Shop and finding out what it is we killed this monster for. I mean, besides getting into the Hall of Fame. <laughs>